welcome back to Pullman Therapy. This is The Culture Study, and I am the channel's video producer. You can call me PD. And today, we are watching the debut of, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Hinapia, uh, aka Drip. Drip is the name of the song. Now, one notable thing about Hinapia is that I believe, so it's a five-member group, and I believe four of their members are from Princeton. That's interesting. Shows you the bond that was tight within Princeton because I feel like the case would be for most girls, they leave a label. They either debut under a new group or they go solo. And usually they don't debut uh, in a new group with the same members that they were originally under. But uh, I think that just goes to show you how tight the Princeton members were. Even though they only had technically, they only had two promotions, didn't they? That's crazy. If you think about it, for how big Princeton was, obviously they weren't like huge, crazy, popular but the potential was there because they had just debuted they had their first comeback and that was it obviously there was Pristin v the subunit but i believe everyone in this subunit is in here except for Choi young and niall i believe that's the case i know Roa's in the group i know they all changed their names too so we're gonna have to we'll do like a dive afterwards to check it out but i know Roa's in it I know Rena's in it. Is Yeha in it? I, I I don't know. And I know Unu is in it. So I'm super excited for that. Now, let's check out this video. This is Drip by Hinapia. And this is your form of therapy. There's Rena. Dude, what happened to Roa? Holy... I don't even recognize her. I only know that's Roa because I saw the K-pop profile for this previously. I don't know the fifth member's name though. There's Unu. Ooh, interesting backing track. The pre-chorus sounds so odd. It sounds... It sounds like an electronica build-up. Oh wow, this song style is fascinating. Oh my god.
All right. Initial first impressions, kind of digging the song. I didn't have much to say during the video because I was really fascinated by how good the song actually is. But music video, it seems to be on the lower budget side of K-pop music videos. I mean, I would say this is definitely a higher budget than most low budget music videos, but this is definitely, there, there's not a lot of money poured into this compared to, I guess compared to let's say Priston, which I think they are probably with a smaller label then, if that's the case. Uh, we'll check out what label they're with afterwards. I kind of want to pick it apart. So far, very, very good feelings about the song. So this is probably one of my favorite scenes. Then as like security camera scenes with like the walls, the red and black actually looks really good together. This set is a little bit less inspired. The gold one. They're using they're using a white backdrop um, set background, but it still feels small. That uh, that shot was actually really good. The close up um, angled shot. This is actually edited really well. That's a really good plus about this music video. One thing I will say that I don't like about the video is that the color scheme is a little bit all over the place. You've got gold, blue, purple, you've got the neon green, neon pink. Then you've got this like very soft white black palette. I kind of wish that they had uh, a little bit of a stronger direction with the color palette in this video. Yeah, they're repeating a lot of sets and they're kind of like shooting within like the void look. This is probably their most like elaborate set and I really like this one. The one with like all of this tapestry. The close-up scenes are really well shot, they're really well lit. Dude, Unu looks so good. The camera work for the dance choreo is a little left to be desired. But the camera work in the music video in general is actually pretty good. See, that's good. You know what? Maybe it was just that one shot. Oh, let me let me focus on the dance real quick. Yeah. The camera work for the dancing is a little bit 50-50. It's a little safe. I kind of wish that it was a little bit more... It was as aggressive as this song is. I love like that very heavy driving guitar sound in the background. I also wish there was a little bit more coordination in the fashion, too. Hmm. I like it, but... I don't know, I think stylistically, it doesn't all match up. I don't know how long my camera was out of focus. Uh, it has auto face detection, and for some reason, I guess, it thought that plant behind me was my face. Uh, so sorry about that. I don't know how long it's been like that, but... So... <sighs> couple mixed feelings here. I think the song's fantastic. I think the song is great. I don't think this music video kind of fits the song. Uh, even the set that I liked the most, which was, I believe, Roa's set. Uh, Roa's set was perhaps the most elaborate. It was well decorated, but I don't think it fit the aesthetic of the song. It had this like Latin or Middle Eastern influences to it. It kind of looked like something like out of like an idol music video. And while the production value on that was high, I don't think it necessarily fit with the aesthetic of this song. And that's the thing about this music video. It's good, 
but it's not as great as the song because the song is way better than this music video. And I don't think aesthetically they kind of sync up really well, which is interesting because behind the camera department of this video, I actually liked some of the camera movements. And then I thought some of them were a little bit too stale and I thought the editing was good. But then I thought, hmm, if there are good camera movements here, why didn't they choose good camera movements for this shot? And I wonder if it's a lack of good camera work, like if, if they just didn't have enough interesting shots or if it was a mistake in the editing department and they chose the wrong shots. Uh, I mean, ultimately that all falls on the director because even though there is an editor, it's the director that is picking the shots. I would say music video is like a six or seven out of 10. Unfortunately, uh, I have to be brutally honest. Uh, I am a huge fan of Pristin. I really liked Pristin. They get so much potential when they debuted. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been with me since Pristin's debut. I was in love with their debut song. Wii U was amazing. And Pristin V's Get It is still one of the best favorite K-pop songs of all time for me. And I like that they kind of carried over the Pristin V concept over into Hinapia as well. And by the way, that's probably the last time I'm gonna mention Pristin just because I wanna stop drawing comparisons. But obviously when you have the group that is 90% from Pristin, how can you not, right? This is gonna be sort of my last comparison. Uh, Pristin V was the more aesthetic girl crush concept. And I like that they carried that over here into Hinapia. I think that style worked. In fact, one of my only criticisms was I wish they had brought Yeha into this and now she's in this and I think it works for them so much. I think they pull off the girl crush concept really well. It's very mature. And what I like about this is that it's a little bit slick. You know, there are girl crush concepts, let, let's say Bandit's dumb, but that one's loud. There's a lot of flashy flair to it. And a lot of girl crush concepts are about being strong and sort of in your face, right? But this one is a little bit smoother and I appreciate the sort of coolness of it. And I think that's kind of the thing about this music video that I think was a little bit lacking in that department. I think if they had gone for a little bit more of a dramatic mood board, pull off some killer looks, a little bit more, of just like dramatic lighting as well. Um, I think the lighting here was kind of all over the place. Um, I think honestly, Pristin V's Get It music video had that exact kind of dramatic lighting that would have fit this really well. Um, so music video wise, it's, it's left to be desired. I really hope that it does improve in the future, but the song, I think it's a goddamn nine out of 10. I definitely have to listen to it a lot more, but it's a strong debut song. Thank you guys for supporting our videos by watching them. If you guys would like to support them a little bit more, remember you can pick up our merch link is in the description down below. Also, if you want early access to videos, if you want access to other types of content, like variety show reactions, uh, live stage reactions, uh, we do that stuff on Patreon. So go ahead and check that out at patreon.com slash form of therapy for as little as two dollars a month you get early access to videos and other exclusive reactions at different stages uh, however supporting us monetarily is completely optional if you would like to support us for free why don't you go ahead and uh, hit the like button down below it helps us out a lot with youtube's algorithm uh, leave a comment as well that helps too uh, go ahead and click subscribe be notified when we upload a new video i would greatly appreciate it if you joined our groupie family uh, also if you want to check out more of our reactions go ahead and check out this playlist that i have compiled for you guys over here